Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into a video on how to basically get head tracking within Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now as far as things goes, as you see here, we can turn. We can look up, down, go obviously go forward and look around things, go back and so on. So how do I do this? Um, what I'm using is a it's a paid program. It's called Flight Track No IR, but I'm also using uh, something a little bit more expensive, which is a Toby Eye Tracker. Now you don't need a Toby Eye Tracker. You can use a simple web camera, which is just fine for some. But I tend to play in pitch black conditions, um, and and on top of that. Um, I can use the eye tracker for other games and also other things, but um, because of my setup, I I can be pitch black. Whereas in your case, you can literally sim simply use a normal web camera and and be just fine. So as far as that goes, this does cost a little bit of money. So note that um, I think it's like two or three dollars. So it's not bad. Anyone should be able to do it pretty easily. But um, with the, uh, if you want to use the same setup, I got the Toby 5 is like 250. So go with a webcam if you want to go that route. Um, otherwise, like other games like Assassin's Creed and whatnot, it becomes very handy. So to use this, uh, what you need to do is go to the following site. I'll leave it down below. But you, what you want to do is go to the following by now. And again, it's like two, three bucks. It's nothing too bad. But then go down to the plugin, the uh, Tubby plugin. Go to the free download right here for the plugin. And um, once you have these three downloaded, go ahead and and um, start up and run with it. So from there, what you want to do is um, go in and for profile do tell before see uh, you know you can do whatever you want but that's better if, if you do that then um, for the tracker obviously the whatever you want there and again if you're just using a web camera don't worry about the Toby part uh, you can use whatever uh, but as far as the filters it's just leaving that as is and also the uh, game protocol what you want to use is this one in the settings on it make sure that this is checked and then start this before you start the game the reason why is if you don't start that first um then the game itself won't recognize it whereas if you start it beforehand and get everything running then you'll see a new tab under the controls called track ir and this basically grants you the entire ability of doing that. So you don't have to do anything like sensitive you want. There's nothing to do. Um, but as far as here, it just grants you the ability of that. If you do not see this under the controls and you did start it, again, check the settings. But if you, if you still run into problems, go to forums and stuff and people will be more than happy to help you out. So from there, what you need to do is um, go ahead and, and start up the game you know make sure it works does it work yes no uh, then go back into here uh, while I have the game in the background what I suggest at this point is go to curves so I got mines all set up so I'm not really gonna mess around with it too much but wh what you'll do is let's say for example y'all I can turn as you see here and what this is is by degrees so you know 10 degrees 180 degrees whatever so in real life it'll say uh, 50 degrees um you know do whatever in uh in reality it's i think it's more than that but in your case it says by when you turn this much in real life it turns this much in the game um, and that's fairly important to note is, you know, you, you can do a full at 180 if you want, but I prefer not to do this type of things because, you know, we're not owls. We're not going to have our head snapped in the back. Whereas looking over your shoulders, 
that's kind of a normal deal. Um, so with that, you can mess around with that, you know, increase it, decrease it, whatever. So for in this case, I can say, oh, I want it this much, and then jump, um, you know, do one of those things. Or I could say, oh, this is um, something like that would be fine or whatever. So play around with that to whatever's your most comfortable. And, and the biggest thing to do is go as far left, uh, turn your head as far as left or right, uh, where you can still see the screen and comfortably, you know, you're, you're comfortable, and then mark that as the furthest point. Um, in my case, it's a little bit more than, so I can say right there, and then we, and I don't want it to go all the way 180, so, right there is about, probably as much as I'm going to do, and I can even lower this by a hair more, so I can say, that's probably it. And I can say, now I got a limit. I don't want to, you know, be an owl and shove my head all the way backwards. But I can say that by that, I can be comfortable, see behind me, and, and figure out what's going on. And we can go forward. So, as you can see, forward, back, and so on, and go from there. Notes that um, you can also do the uh, if, if it goes off for whatever reason, like if your head looks like this in game but you're sitting normal, you can hit the home button and it will readjust. Uh, even if you got this, uh, say for example, I can readjust just simple as that. So, as far as that goes. Redress that, and now I can see things. So, again, test around, make sure it's comfortable, and then fly around or do whatever you want. Notes that you um, can go through barriers, as you can see there, we can see the engine. Trying to get it where we can see outside the window. You see, there's a line for the window, and so on. So, I mean, just note that the uh, game doesn't stop you from, you know, viewing things like that. Uh, but just note that, like, say for example, right here, I um, this is a weird controller. So, normally to get the air brakes on. I would have to turn it like that, or I had to use a button to get the air brakes on. Whereas now I can be something like that. I go, I, I'd still use the button because I mean whatever. But if there's like some type of weird button on behind whatever, instead of doing some weird thing, I can just simply look at it and you know go f click it and go from there. So and I see there. But anyways, as far as that goes, if you got any questions, anything else, leave that in the comment section. Again, if you do run into some major problems, it might be best just to go in some forums and ask around. But I figured I might as well um, upload this video since I got mine working and I've seen where other people run problems. And um, it, I think it's mostly because people don't know start one versus the other. Start the uh, track and IR program before you start the game. Um, but in your case, if, if um, you like this, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.